Hi everyone, Amber here with Amber's Berries and Buds. I have been asked quite a bit recently about my potassium permanganate sterilization method. Um, I've been telling people exactly how I do it. The last video that I tried to do on this didn't upload correctly, so I'm going to try to do another one and upload this one instead. Now as of right now, I have a liquid potassium permanganate. I will probably be switching over to a dry version of this because when I ship out my plants, I sterilize my plants beforehand because I do know that I have snails. I have several types of snails that are very good for combating algae and stirring up the substrate, but not everybody wants these snails in their tanks. This method is not only for snails, it does work better than just doing a salt bath or, or rinsing method because it doesn't hurt the plants like salt sometimes will. But it also is good for many other aquatic pests, scuds, leeches, any varieties of dragonfly larva or nymphs. It basically will treat anything that is organic matter because that's what potassium permanganate does is attach itself to organic matter which is also why gloves are required because your skin is organic matter and it does attack your skin and it will I think it burns I'm not exactly sure the chemical reaction but it's not good to get in contact with your skin now I have taken one of my moss ledges that is in a tank that is full of little tiny snails. There's also a little bit of frog bit attached to it. But as you can see, you can't actually see snails or anything on this. So as a visual inspection, you don't see anything wrong. Now most people, when they buy plants from an aquatic store, a pet store, they'll just rinse them and go ahead and put them in their tanks. And then lo and behold, a couple days later, they're infested with snails and scuds and other nasty things. Now this is Jungle Clearwater. All I did was get this from Walmart. It's sold in their fish section. It says just Jungle Clearwater. It's made for treating whole tanks, but I don't actually recommend doing this. Um, it's made specifically to do rid your tanks of cloudiness, but there are other ways to do that that don't involve something that would actually kill all of your organisms. Now I don't know if my phone is going to focus on this. It won't, but the only active ingredient is potassium permanganate, and it says that on the back. So this is what I'm using so far. Like I said, it already is in a liquid form, but what I have done here is my setup is just taken a glass bowl I use glass instead of metal because I'm not worried at all about any kind of metals reacting with the chemicals that I'm using. But I just filled it up with a little bit of water, you know, just enough that I can coat my plant, that it'll actually fully submerge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this potassium permanganate and drop in several drops until it's a very dark pink slash purple color. And I mean, that's that's a good bit of drops. I'm not worried about overdosing here because, like I said, this is not going in my tank. It doesn't actually hurt the plants, so if you even were to overdose, it doesn't really matter at this point. So it's a lovely shade of purpley pink. Now I'm just going to drop my ledge in here. I'm going to get it fully submerged. The frog bit's not going to fully submerge because it's a floating plant, but... The frog bit wasn't necessary for this demonstration. And I'm just going to actually leave that in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. With the light, potassium permanganate does actually react with light. So I usually do this without a whole bunch of lights on. But for the demonstration, I will leave the lights on, wait about 10-15 minutes, and then we'll come back to this. Alright, so it's been a few minutes. The only thing that I did was just kind of roll the ledge around in the potassium permanganate solution. Just kind of make sure that I've dipped it, rinsed it around in the solution. It's kind of a bigger ledge. I could have used a smaller one, but this one was close to the top. So yeah, just rinsed it and kind of ran it around in there just to get everything off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it out. Kind of let that 
drip a little bit. I do have a white paper towel under my bowl just so you can see. Take the frog bit out so that you can actually see what's left in here. Now, as you can see, all of these little tiny specks down in there as my camera focuses, those are all snails. And it looks like I probably have about 10, maybe even 15 snails that fell off of this one ledge. As you can see, they are not moving uh, because they're not happy about this solution here. There's even some more snails over there as well. Now everything else that's in here is just a little bit of debris from my fish and my shrimp because I only have snails. I don't have anything else um, in this tank. So whereas you didn't see any of those before, you definitely see them now. The plant is now officially sterilized. It does not have any snails left on it. All you do now would be just to dip it in a solution of prime or a dechlorinator. Now what I do with the rest of the water, I don't pour anything down my drain just because if there happens to be something that is still alive, I do not want to introduce anything into the ecosystem that is not natural, something that came from our tanks that may be disease resistant or have diseases that our natural animals do not have and would be able to transfer to them. So basically what I do is I drain a little bit of this water out and just let it sit for um, a couple of days in a container. I'll usually just let this sit for a little bit, let the potassium permanganate finish. It will actually change colors. Um, as soon as it starts reacting with light, it changes colors. I don't know if anybody's noticing that this is a lighter color now than it was earlier. Eventually it will change to like this yellowish color and it's completely inactive. Everything inside would be dead and I would be able to throw it out. Um, after a while, you could pour some bleach in it just to kill everything to make sure, but I would not mix the bleach with the potassium permanganate when it is still active. I would wait until it changed colors completely and it was inactive. Otherwise, you may run the risk of forming a noxious gas with a combination of the two. And it's just not nice. And still wearing gloves through the entire procedure as well so you don't get any of these chemicals in contact with your skin. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope it was very informative and you now have a safe way to treat plants for incoming pests. I'm not really sure that this does anything for algae. I haven't had any confirmation yet on that. So this isn't really a recommended method for algae. But it is extremely recommended for your plants as far as treating something that you got from another seller or treating a plant that you got from a fish store that God knows what they have on those things. So please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Berries and Buds. I also have a website, berriesandbuds.weebly.com. And of course my Facebook, facebook.com slash berriesandbuds. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day.